What's up? It's Collins Key, and for today's video, I am doing another DIY. Now, I did my very first ever DIY last week, and there was so much positive response on that video. I'm like, you know what? We're gonna do another DIY right now, but this time, since I'm kind of like a DIY master by this point, <gasps> come at me, bro. For this one, I want to do a DIY Jello soda. So basically, how it works, I got the soda all right here. I'm not gonna be DIYing every single one of these. I shouldn't shake it. And do you want me to do even more DIY videos? Let me know by liking this video. And if this video gets enough thumbs up and enough support, then I will do even more crazy DIY videos for you guys. And hopefully, I won't fail. There's probably gonna be a lot of failing though if I do more of these. This video was inspired by Awesome Disney Toys, where he literally has done every single soda imaginable and turned it into jello. So make sure you guys go check out his channel. I'm gonna put the link down below. And I have to say a huge thank you because we've hit one. One million subscribers here on this channel. I was thinking about how I could possibly say thank you for all the support you guys give me. And so I came up with this idea and I've actually partnered with Live Me and I'm going to be doing a live stream fan event. I just want to call and talk with and get to know as many of you guys as I possibly can. It's going to be so much fun. There's going to be magic also. There's going to be dares. There's going to be special guests. Who knows? <laughs> Devin might be involved. You never know. This is happening on July 10th and all you have to do if you want me to call you or FaceTime you is just download the Live Me app. It's free. Just use the link down in the description. That way I know that you're one of my people. Also want to let you guys know it's a brand new month and that means a brand new giveaway and this month I'm giving away a MacBook. So if you guys want to win that let me know by liking this video. Comment down below. What's your favorite Favorite video I've ever posted. Of course, you must be subscribed to this channel. I'll be announcing the winner of the June giveaway at the end of this video, so stick around for that. But right now, let's jump right in. Let's create some DIY. Supposed to catch it on my hand. That did not go as planned. Okay, let's get into the video. All you need for this is, of course, the soda. You're also going to need a ridiculous amount, a ridiculous amount of uh, gelatin. Here we go. We'll get the shot. You need some bowls. You're also going to need uh, duct tape. And last but not least, of course, a knife. <laughs> All right, so now you're just gonna take your soda, open it up. Oh my gosh, it's like smoking right now. All right, here we go. We got the soda. I think we're just gonna pour it into the bowl. Hopefully, I can just uh, splashing it everywhere. <laughs> it's just like chugging out. Actually, I'm gonna put the top in there. That's so much. All right, well that is all the soda out of here and now it's time for step number two. Ah, just drank that whole thing. Step number two, you just need to remove this label right here. That way you can put it around the finished product of the Jell-O uh, soda. So for this you need to be very careful to make sure you do not rip the label prematurely. Let's try it right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I messed this up. There we go. Now that you have perfectly removed the label from now that you've perfectly removed the label from the bottle, you're ready to continue on to step number three. If I get this, this is going to be awesome. I didn't get it. Okay, for this next step, I was gonna like spin the bottle on the knife, but that did not work out at all. You're not actually gonna be using this giant knife because that's not safe at all. If you're using a smaller bottle, you can use an X-Acto knife. I brought along a Leatherman knife because it's more hardcore because this is a bigger bottle. Just gonna cut a line right here and be very careful on this. Don't do this without parental supervision because I don't want to get sued. This is how you do it. Hey, look, it's my fingers. There's so gonna cut into this here. That. And just try to cut a straight line. It's not straight at all. That was the most jagged line I've ever. Look at, look how bad that is. Well, after you've cut a perfectly straight line in the bottle, you are ready to continue. What step are we on? Five. Step number five. Whether or not it's five, we're going to step number five. Step number five. Duct tape. Ow. So what you can do for this is take a strip of duct tape, tear it. Just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna cover up. The incision you just made. Cover that up. Bam. Just like that. And now you've officially airtight sealed this thing. Now we're moving on to step number six. I tried to do threes like that, but that didn't work. All right, let's do it. The original recipe calls for eight packs of jello, but this one, since we're supersizing it, I'm going to be using 26 packs of jello. So let's do it right now. Instead of being basic and doing one at a time, I'm going to do all of them at once. About to rip through 26 jello packets at once. Legendary. Okay, I'm gonna go back to doing the whole one at a time. Next, you're going to just add water and then microwave it for about three minutes, give or take, and we'll see what happens. A few moments later. How do you open the microwave? Is there a button? You can tell how much I microwave things. How do you do this? Hook, timer, start, stop, clear, clock, clear. Nope, that's not it. How do, how do these work? So maybe if I pull like this. Oh, 
<laughs> she had a little bite on the side. It must have like hit by accident. Oh my gosh, it looks disgusting. What the heck? Next, I need to stir this around a little bit. It's gonna give it a little, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, this looks so nasty. Now the part we've all been waiting for, you add the jello to the mix. So here we go, we're just gonna do this. I'm not even gonna lie, this is one of the most disgusting things I've ever smelled in my entire life. <laughs> it's ugh. Wait till YouTube introduces a feature where you can smell what I'm smelling right now because this stuff is not nice. Ugh, it's so gross. Next we're going to be pouring all of this into the empty duct tape bottle. All right, I guess we're just gonna kinda go for it. No, no. There we go. Ooh. Now all you have to do is just freeze it and wait for one hour, and at that point, you'll have a jello soda. All the bubbles will go away, so let's do that right now. One hour later. This is the big reveal right now. We're about to find out what this thing looks like. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bruh. What is that? Kind of cut open the bottle and then remove the jello or the frozen mass of failure. This is just horrible. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Hey, look at that! Not too shabby, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that's so much fun. All right, so now we have to get the other half out, so let me see if I flip this up like this. <laughs> it's not coming out, it's gonna crack in half. Let's see if I can get this whole thing out without it breaking. Be free! <laughs> that didn't work. Leave your bottle! Yay! We did it! Even though it's chunky, it's funky, it's messed up, we did it! So what you do is you take the top now, I'm gonna put the top on there. Oh, it's coming together. Now, you just take this. Oh my gosh, this low key like actually works. And bam, there you have it. This is the DIY Jello soda. So I don't know what I did wrong, probably the fact that it was so big. It looks so cool. Well, it kind of failed at the end there, but. Ah, cold. I'm gonna take my jello with me. <laughs> my little baby. I'm gonna try to bite the frostbitten part right now. Hold on. It's so cold. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Help. <laughs> it's gross. Okay.